Welcome back guys to Pinot Cross of the Mark and Mark here, your host. We're going to go straight up to our NBA playoff topics. Not about the Rats, but right now about the current playoffs. What are some topics that I want to talk about? Actually, something uh, of all the, the players that we've seen so far in the second round of the, uh, of the matchups. Who's been the best player for you so far Like that you feel like that have dominated and, and have stolen the, the spotlight? Because I feel like the players, the real good players, or the, the, what we talk about, the best players, comes out during the playoffs. So who's been the players that come into your mind watching this whole playoff series in the NBA? I mean, definitely Kevin Durant's up there, even though he went down with the injury, yeah. uh, which we'll talk about later. Yeah. But uh, Kevin Durant's always my guy. He's, he's on a super team right now, but again, like... I just want to see him win another championship, to yeah. be honest, right? He might go to Knicks, um, you don't know. <laughs> yeah, hey, never know. This might be his last, you know, championship. Might be his last run through with, yeah, the, with yeah. Golden State. Yeah, yeah. Although, although, obviously Kawhi, you know, obviously Kawhi is playing at the high, highest level I've ever seen any Raptor play at. Yeah. Um, but again, Still. like... Durant, there's just yeah. something about his game this season, this, yeah. this playoff. So. Yeah, yeah, he's... Uh, He's just been a favorite of mine from time, and I'm a, I'm a loyal guy, so, you know, yeah. I don't ever switch up, you know? Yeah. So, uh, yeah, no, I mean, Kevin, Kevin Durant, hopefully he comes back in the next round, you know, and uh, shows his real talent and takes the team to the next level, right? Yeah. Yeah, I have to agree with you, RJ, though. He has exploded yeah. throughout this series and everything, too. i got to give him that. Yeah. It's just what you said before with the calf injury just really, is, is really disappointing. See, yeah. It's really sad. Yeah. 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 How about you, James? Like, uh, please don't take me. Was, uh, <laughs> <laughs> not the Sixers. I'm not the Sixers. But, uh, I thought you'd be biased, though. You know. <laughs> you, know what? you know, you have to Mix go up. back to your, you know. But uh, I say Giannis and um, Lillard because last year, when they lost the second round and the first round, yeah. their their legacy kind of. Everyone yeah. started questioning. Well, Lillard got swept last year. Yeah, yeah. 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 You know, yeah. Bucks got beaten by Boston last year by, without by Kyrie. Drew. Yeah. yeah. Drew, just, or Drew Hall. To see yeah. Miller do so well is yeah. just, you know, yeah. it's, it's great it's to insane. see. Like, that, that game yeah. winner was huh. something else. Yeah. Like, yeah. His first round performance. Yeah. I think he was the best player in the first round of the playoffs, yeah. I think. Yeah. Yeah. He was the sure. talk of the town. And then yeah. CJ McCollum suddenly showed up in the second round yeah. of the series. Yeah, they needed him. Yeah. Well, that's like, you need presence, right? So, yeah. It's just crazy because, like, Giannis was, like, questionable. So, what he did, he started practicing with Kobe Bryant and start doing this because yeah, bo- both of them have a chip on his shoulder yeah. because since last year they have that question mark can they lead the team to the Eastern Conference Finals or Finals but now it's totally different because mm-hmm. they kind of proven people wrong because yeah. from last year's team Blazers didn't really change anything yeah. they just and their yeah. best big man got hurt so and then yeah. now it's just like you know it's yeah. totally different Speaking of big yeah. man, I yeah. gotta give a shout out to Nikola Jokic. Oh, what the yeah. Yeah. He was my, Whoa. he was my pick. He was yeah. my pick. He's just man, been that he's nice. Beasting, man. Yeah. 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 Taking that Denver team to like you know a different page. Three and, two yeah. lead right now. And uh, yeah. you know even with Jamal Murray, then just helping him out. Yeah. Uh, mm-hmm. But he's just that team is gonna do some damage, right? If they yeah. get there. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. There's just for the sure. way he plays. Like uh, if you watch him, like oh, okay, shit. He's, he he's plays at its own pace. Like nobody like changes the way he plays. And the fact that like everybody gets better around him, that's mm-hmm. the kind of player that you want to surround your team Definitely with. Definitely impact player. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. he's just like he sets the tempo kind of thing. He yeah. does, yeah. And, and and you know it allows Gary Harris and Jamal Murray to play yeah. their game, which both of them really are two guards. Like yeah. in their body, they have a point guard kind of body, but both of them are really just two guards, and it allows them to play this that way because of Jokic, because yeah. the offense runs around Jokic. If you really think about it, For and sure. it allows Millsap to kind of be in a space where he doesn't have to really exert too much of himself uh, setting plays or anything like that mm-hmm. because Jokic really is the uh, the focal point of the offense and yeah. it's just really nice to watch him play for sure, yeah. for sure. he's going to be a problem if mm-hmm. Houston or Golden State has to face him we're going to we're going to put up problems for everybody right? he's a matchup yeah. problem for them right for so sure. it's, sure. it's, it's been nice to watch that and speaking of the, the Warriors and the Houston Rockets what have you guys seen so far with regards to these two teams I mean it's a very close game right now I mean you, uh, Houston uh, could have had that win against the uh, the Golden State with the calf uh, Durant's injury. Yeah. What are you guys' thoughts so far about this whole series? Because it's been I've been blown. And I've been watching it really closely. Yeah, I mean that last last night was it played? Yeah. Last yeah. night it played. Man, like we we were watching at my friend's house, um, and then like to obviously twenty point lead, right? So we just ended up playing some like you know two K, you know what I mean, for a little bit. <laughs> yeah. Jump back in the fourth quarter, it's like tied, like one or one point away. Yeah. Uh, and then from there, like I felt like Houston deserved to win that, mm-hmm. um, but I, they just fell short in the last couple minutes uh, 
Warriors did their thing and, and hit a couple threes, and Draymond got a couple stops and turn, turnovers. So, mm -hmm. I mean, they're an incredible roster alone. So, it, it, like, they're expected to do those things, right? But um, Houston put up a great fight, and I think, uh, yeah, I think that's going to seven. I think that series is definitely going to seven because it's been a home-and-home home kind of mm -hmm. series. Uh, but, yeah, it's, James Harden's been incredible also. Uh, pfft. Man, <laughs> those are the series you live for, right? Yeah. That's what you want to kind of see. Right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What are your thoughts with regards to Durant's injury? Like, can the Warriors or can uh, will it be a shame for the Rockets if they lose Game Six? Yeah. With, without Durant, like, what are you like? What are you going I'm, to? I'm gonna let you guys go in yeah. first. Yeah. yeah. I mean, the Warriors have won without KD, right? Yeah. So I feel like they can still. I don't want them to. Yeah. But I feel like they could. Yeah. Even without KD, mm -hmm. they can just repeat the same thing as what they did before without mm -hmm. him, right? So that's the way I see it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I definitely feel a strong enough team to do they that. Are, they are. But again, like, you know, uh, G KD is part of the formula. I think they could do it without him, but I'd rather him be there, you know? And, and no one wants to see anybody get injured. Yeah. Uh, everybody wants to see all the top players the in the league at the best. Yeah. Uh, so when a player goes down like that, like even, you know, in previous years, like when Chris Paul went down, you should knock on wood because Chris Paul, <laughs> yeah, my guy. Yeah. He's a, you know he, I mean? he made like, a huge like, impact. Like, yeah, yeah. He, I feel like some of his teams in the past could have won championships if he was yeah. there, right? Mm -hmm. So, I mean, uh, with KD going down, it makes it a lot tougher, but uh, it's the Warriors. It's the Warriors, right? So Yeah, what I noticed about that game is that when um, Durant got hurt, uh, Curry stopped stepping up. Yeah. He had a little slump, and then he started making his threes by the end and start like, doing something because the whole game he was bad. He yeah, was yeah. bad. And then th when Durant got hurt, got hurt, he was like, you know what, I need to step up and start making threes, start passing the ball pro like, properly to like, exactly so, so someone can make yeah. a layup and the stuff I, like I feel that. though, like, for sure, that's what superstars yeah. are supposed to do. Yeah. Um, but like their whole roster is superstars, right? Their yeah. whole yeah. starting lineup superstars. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. when you have that many options like at any given day, that could have been Clay Thompson. That could have been Draymond. That could have been, but like collectively, they're all there together, right? So if, yeah. even if a Steph Curry goes down, like again, the rest Durant, of the team is yeah. kind of picking up the slack, right? So yeah. the only yeah. thing I noticed is that the difference with with having Durant and without Durant is that they're back to that natural flow of offense that they've all had, which is that yeah. ball movement. And you have Clay and Curry coming off down screen pin yeah. pin downs. It's just so confusing for an uh, for yeah. a defense to kind of defend. And they didn't really have that as much when they have Durant because Durant is just a talent himself. Where yeah. you don't just give really, him the ball, give him the ball and yeah. he can make yeah. any shots anywhere really around the court. So that's kind of where uh, I'm worried about the Houston Rockets because they kind of had a formula on how to defend the whole yeah. Golden State when they had Durant, but now they got to change yeah. the whole defensive yeah. scheme now on how to defend this team yeah. that has two shooting the best shooters in the NBA could have been yeah. running around and, yeah. and, and, and trying to find open yeah. shots yeah. and that opens up a lot of movement for Draymond for Iguodala for um, Kavon Looney for yeah. uh, Charlie Looney. Livingston yeah. <laughs> to get easy, easy yeah. man. Oh my God. they're getting easy yeah, baskets exactly. because of this movement that they're getting from, from both Steph and Clay, and yeah. it's kind of dangerous for Houston Rockets and yeah. so it is I think could yeah. be a game 7 they might go if, back to elevator place yeah. like, oh, like, yeah. that was they, fun yeah. when they had that yeah. elevator yeah. place yeah. 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 So, 